you know, nice. The last minute Christmas rush ahead of a big holiday storm. So we have blizzard warnings tonight just west of Rochester. Winter storm warning here, advisories east. What it means for where you live, we're breaking it down next on Fox. Plus, it's been a little bit of a disaster. How that major storm system is impacting travel across the nation. And the Rochester City School District naming a new permanent superintendent. From your breaking news and weather authority on Fox Rochester, this is 13 Wham News at 10. And we begin with breaking news this hour. A fatal crash on Park Avenue at South Goodman Street in Rochester this evening. Police say a man was struck by a car around 6 o'clock tonight. He was taken to Strong Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Rochester police are calling this an ongoing investigation. We will post you, uh, keep you posted on the latest on that story on 13wham.com. To our other top story tonight, the weather. We do have team coverage for you, helping you prepare for this Arctic blast expected to roll through the region over the holiday weekend starting tomorrow. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Malloy. You see Carla Rogner on your screen. She is standing by near the New York State Thruway, where some restrictions will start soon. We're going to begin, though, with meteorologist Scott Hetzko tracking the arrival of bitter cold, snow, and wind. Scotty? Maddie, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, all that is... In the process right now, we will begin it with a good look at uh, satellite and radar, show you how this storm is evolving right now. Much colder air to the west. It is a combination of that bitter cold air, uh, upper air energy, an area of low pressure that is really diving south across the Great Plains state. Uh, and it's causing a wealth of response from the Atlantic coast right now. Heavier rain moving through Pennsylvania. Some of that's going to make its way up here overnight. So initially tonight, it's rain. This is all we're going to see. Waves of showers and some locally heavier rain at times as well. So this is not a major concern. As you can see, it's all wet down in Scranton, PA, further south. Uh, much too warm to have any issues with regard to snow. But by tomorrow afternoon and evening, this is what will be coming after that. So blizzard warnings west of Rochester. Winter storm warning for Monroe County. So there's a difference there, and we'll get into what that is in a minute. More advisories, lesser impact to the east of us. Everybody's going to get wind. It depends on how much, but travel impact here in West is very high on the don't do it list if you can avoid it. And you see over to the uh, lake snow, the power loss is on a lower end for Monroe County, but higher end of the power loss risk to the West. Here's winds and watch them ramp up tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, we got gusts between 55 and 65 West. Another big story is the wind and uh, the temperature combined here. Watch what happens tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, we're in the upper 30s. By 10-11, you know, we're falling below freezing, and then we get to the single digit south late in the evening. Snow, <laughs> another issue on top of it. This is a range of numbers. Now, don't take every number and say that's a guarantee for your house, but we're looking at maybe 6 to 10 western Monroe, and then up to a couple of feet the closer you get to Erie and western Genesee counties. So, back here again tomorrow. Matt, we're talking about temperatures plummeting through the afternoon. That flash freeze, which would be any rain uh, on the roads, could go to a quick ice as temperatures fall fast into the 20s and teens later on. So the weekend, of course, Christmas weekend, uh, a big deal for families getting together. We'll talk about uh, when it does improve coming up in a few. All right, Scotty, we will check back with you. Thank you. It was a mad dash to stock up on groceries and Christmas presents before the storm. We continue our team coverage tonight with local officials asking people to stay home when that weather turns and the state thruway issuing a ban on some trucks. 13 Wham's Carla Rogner joining us live from the thruway this evening. Carla, good evening. Yeah, hi, Matt. There's not much going on weather-wise right now, but the state has issued a travel advisory that starts tomorrow morning. All tractor, empty tractor trailers and tandem vehicles will be banned from the New York State Thruway from here in Henrietta to the Pennsylvania state border. In the meantime, people rush to the grocery store tonight to get everything they need so they can abide by those emergency officials' warnings and stay home over the next few days. Packed parking lots in Brockport. Now. It's kind of crazy. I expected this tomorrow. You know, this is a Christmas Eve crowd. It's it's filled all the way to the back roads back there. People making a mad dash to the grocery store, grabbing all the essentials ahead of the big storm. 
Um, a couple of things I needed last minute, like cheesecake. Can't survive a storm without cheesecake. Uh, just getting some stuff for Christmas morning. So cinnamon rolls, orange juice, a couple things, but it was a little crazy in there. Yeah, I got like the last two gallons of skim milk. Not a lot anything left. This storm on its way at the worst time, just before Christmas. Well, I'm going to turn the heat up in the house so that when I lose power, I stay warm for a little bit longer. I've got plenty of food, and uh, I'm putting the garbage cans in the garage, so when the wind hits, I won't have to worry about them. Ronald Richard says he's ready for when he loses power, and RG&E is preparing for that possibility. We are in storm mode now here at RG&E. We have pre-staged our normal contingent of tree and line crews uh, across our divisions and added 330 additional crews to help with the storm this weekend. The strong winds possibly leading to power outages across the region. Our customers should plan ahead. This is going to be a significant storm. Charge your phones, have drinking water available. If you are on well water, have some, well, have some water set aside for the things that you might need to do. RG&E says it has prepared for what these next few days could bring, and so have these shoppers. Just Merry Christmas. I mean, you know, good luck. Hopefully everybody gets to where they got to go tomorrow and safely. And both the city of Rochester and Monroe County have issued states of emergency ahead of this storm. And again, that travel advisory here on the New York State Thruway starts for some commercial vehicles in the morning. Back to you, Matt. Carla, thank you. A reminder, you can always check the latest weather conditions around the clock by downloading our free 13 Wham weather app. Tonight, the city of Rochester under that state of emergency following a major water main break as well last night. That created a mess on Favor Street. A boil water advisory still in place tonight for much of Rochester's west side until at least Saturday, just one day ahead of that winter storm. Tonight, take a look at this. This was the water aisle at the BJ's in Henrietta, nearly cleared out, just a few cases left. Now, this is a map of the impacted area. Do we have that? We may not have the map for you, but residents, mostly on the west side and businesses, advised to boil water for one minute and let it cool before use. With that break and the coming weather, Mayor Malik Evans says the city is trying to stay on top of any possible challenges in the next few days. There you see that map of the boil water advisory area right now. Here is the mayor earlier today. This gives me the ability to be able to do things that are necessary in order to make sure that we are able to um, protect our, the residents of the city. Like I said, something like this has never happened where you had a, a catastrophic water main break. And I'm sure all of you have been covering the news on this once in a lifetime storm that they're calling it. Um, we have to take that very seriously. Uh, the city says the boil water advisory will be lifted once multiple tests confirm the water is safe. But until then, anyone who still does not have water service is asked to call 311. Uh, to some breaking news now from the Rochester City School District tonight, the Board of Education naming a new permanent superintendent. He is Carmine Peluso, the current interim superintendent. He's been leading the district since the department, um, uh, since Leslie Meyer Small rather left the department in August. Peluso previously served as the deputy superintendent of operations and administration. Before that, he worked in principal and assistant principal roles in East Rochester and as a teacher at Edison Tech and in Pittsford. We have great people here. I've been in this district for a long time, um, and I've seen the wonderful people that we've had in our classrooms and our schools here at Central Office, um, all doing what's great for kids. We just need to start rowing in the right direction collectively to make an improvement for all of us. Peluso becomes the eighth superintendent for the district in about a 10-year period. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello and the county legislature have announced a bipartisan agreement on a redistricting plan. Officials say this will maximize voting opportunities in six black majority districts. It comes after a split between Bello and three Democrats who sided with the GOP on a different plan. The federal lawsuit had also been filed over that issue. The town of Brighton is suing an energy company for millions. The supervisor says they not only breached their contract, but also misled customers. 13 Wham's Chase Howell breaks down that lawsuit. A sustainable energy showdown in Brighton. The town supervisor says they're suing so-called renewable energy company Source Power after costing 10,000 Brighton customers 
over a million dollars in just six months. Without warning, we were notified that Source was unilaterally terminating their contract and discontinuing providing electricity to Brighton customers as of June 15th. Town Supervisor Bill Maley says they began their two-year contract with Source Power in December 2020. The company claimed it supplied renewable energy, locking customers in at paying 4.29 cents per kilowatt hour and saving them $1.2 million. All CCA customers were automatically switched back to RG&E at a price that was no longer fixed as the contract had been and at this point was far in excess of that 4.29 cent price that customers have been paying over the last 18 months. Maley says customers are now paying more than double per kilowatt hour, having to revert to RG&E. The lawsuit also details source power misled its customers. In addition to terminating their contract unilaterally, source had also misrepresented to the town that they were providing renewable source electricity when in fact they had not. Reporting Chase Howell, 13WM News at 10 on Fox Rochester. If the town is suing for millions of dollars. If successful, the town supervisor hopes to bring another renewable energy source to Brighton. And tonight, a bill is on its way to Governor Kathy Hochul's desk that would increase New York State lawmakers' pay from $110,000 a year to $142,000. That bill passing today in both the Assembly and the Senate, it is up to Governor Hochul now. If she signs the bill, it would make New York State lawmakers the highest paid in the nation. Still ahead here on Fox Rochester, the new key testimony released by the January 6th committee and breaking news this hour as that final report 